Namaste. Namaste, family. Please all be blessed as I am. Always. Who's listening? Welcome. We shall dive deep again into some deep truths and something beautiful to free the soul of illusions that burden us in time and space of 3D. I was actually, you know, writing the article and editing. It takes, I don't know, like two hours to make it beautiful because I'm dyslectic and autistic. So it's a lot of editing. And as I edit, I add half width, so it takes time. But I deleted it. I wanted to write because more people reach. Here I share deeper truths, but not so many people re uh, get watch, you know, because to read something 10 minutes, 15 minutes is easier. So, but I won't write it again, maybe other day, you know. This energy is, I, two months I did not, feel insomnia now two days today i did not even go to flute i won't play flute if no sleep and hot outside like anything so energy is uh, also like this so i decided to go live and just speak it out but as i go live i see mysterious way why because the other part of what i want to speak and is important just got revealed and to write all this not possible guilt i want to speak about two things. Guilt, we are guilty, we are sorry, we done something wrong, we beat ourselves. And this is the original sin from the eyes of ascended beings and eyes of God. And I want to speak about how true master doesn't have to for forgive anyone and doesn't need no one to be sorry. Just ego is hurt and offended only. But master, I know I've been around them. So I'll focus on this first. There's nothing to forgive. You understand? You can see this by the example of Jesus Christ on the cross. They are hurting him, executing him in most terrible fashion. Brutal. And not only, there's nothing to forgive. He asking Father to forgive. Because I will tell you something. The, somebody who needs to hear I'm sorry, the other is bow down and apologize and all this. This is not ascended beings. This is ego and mind. I know more and more I was ascending, more and more I did not like I sorry until the point that I preached to everybody who said to me that he is sorry. Because I say, when you are weird and you are eccentric and you are like me, you have your own truth and your own ways, what you like and you don't like, and you will say. More and more and you stand in your truth, more and more you will say what bothers you. But it doesn't mean you are hurt or offended. Master just stands in his truths and says what he likes and what he does not like. Doesn't mean somebody did something wrong, just he did, he don't like this in his presence. What's what everybody else likes. And the guilt kicks in, you know. I'm sorry. Why sorry? Do that. It's not my problem. I just don't like it. Maybe there's nothing wrong with it. Others like it. No problem. It's just telling you, I don't like it. And this can happen when guilt is removed. Then you can say what you like and you don't like. You don't feel guilty of being yourself and telling others, hey, this is not me, I don't want this. And when you are no more guilty, then you can stand in your truth. But when you are guilty, you fear of being yourself and when people don't like that you are you, you are sorry. 
And this is first guilt, which is for nothing. Many have this. And it's completely wrong. It's not necessary that we angels like everything what I, that you like everything what I do. And I like everything what you do. And no one should tolerate things they don't like. Everybody can do what they like, but they're where they love it. And everyone should say, without guilt, I don't like this. And others should not be sorry or offended. I'm sorry I did this. No. Or, uh, or being offended in ego, now I'm no more your friend. This is just two sides of the ego. Okay, I'll not do this in your presence. We are cool. You just don't like it. I, this is weird because everybody else like it. But okay, I love you as you are. I'm not doing anything wrong. This is how you should feel when somebody tells you that they don't like something. Because in reality, we bring to people things and we expect that they will just jump to the ceiling. And if they don't, they just don't. It's nothing wrong. We should not be sorry or offended. We are not guilty and we don't need them to be sorry that we are friends again. It's the same coins, same sides of the same coin, you know, because there's really nothing to forgive. There is nothing to forgive. And from the point perspective of beings like Archangel Michael who are fighting darkness, dark beings, and Kalki, Ryder, and Shiva, and many who are ascended beings, but they have to kill dark beings. You have to understand here, there's no being offended, there's no hate, there's no ego, there's actually love behind it. This is example which is very extreme. And we are sorry when we do nothing. Even when these beings are attacking and when Jesus was crucified, when masters are really getting hurt, their bodies, and like this. They are not offended. They are not hurt. Jesus was not crying on the cross. You know, you guys are going to get it. Wait, my father hears about it. No, he was not crying like that. He was, Father, please forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. He's not hurt. He's not offended. He doesn't need them to apologize. He just sees them condition. They will never even, if they apologize, it's good. Then they mean they repent. They do in such things. But the point is, master does not need no one to be sorry. Because whatever anyone is doing, master sees their real truth true self, the soul covered in this shit, you know, and if mission was to destroy them, they would be destroyed, but with same love, no hate, no vengeance, nothing of this world, when Archangel Michael fighting, nothing of this world, no hate, nothing this, we must destroy them, we hate them, no revenge. Just doing the work that is most beneficial for the soul that is so deep and trapped in darkness that cannot get free, that must get reset. There's love, always love. Like example, again we can go to Jesus on the cross. They are killing his body. They are executing like brutally and everything but there is love towards them they don't need to say we are sorry for him 
to pray to Father. Please forgive them, I love them. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know who they are. You understand this? And yes, masters get angry on fire. Anger is not hate. Anger is also you have in Buddhist script and in Vedic scripts, transcendental anger of masters. Well, yeah, Jesus was angry in marketplace. Kalke is angry. Michael is angry in the war. It's that warrior, divine anger, but it's love. And it has purpose, love, to help the soul, always, regardless what it is. Jesus is not whipping there on the marketplace because he's hurt and offended. He's angry because they are doing this and he loves them, what they are doing against their soul, against themselves, actually, on the end of end. And he's whipping the shit out of them just... He's whipping the illusions out of them. And I saw the masters. I had privilege to be trained in past years, years ago. Very strict masters in India. One was very strict. Given me, yes. Ooh. And it was not, it's not. So people get here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, Master will tell you when you bring the illusions because you don't see them. And he will sometimes go on fire to shake the mind, to shake the ego, to shake the illusion, the confusion. And it's also Rumi has said, Master has to hit lawfully. It's mercy actually. And at that point, I can see many times, and I saw in my past, and even now I saw sometimes, with somebody experienced with me for a second, how much it helped me that moment. Hate in this world, when somebody out of hate explodes, is to take you down. And he wants you to be sorry, he wants you to be like that. Then he is okay, then he wins. You know. But master will explode when you are just in this Maya of your mind, then you bring this Maya to him, and then naturally, he will shake it. And I'm becoming sane. And then usually, people are sorry, and then Master is more angry even. <laughs> I feel sane, why sorry? I just told you, this is illusion, you brought this illusion to me. <laughs> no. I don't, I'm not offended by this, I just don't want to. You, you can have this, but if you're telling me this here now, then I, it's my duty to tell you, because then I just leave it, and others will think this is truth. I have to smash it. But in your house, wherever you are, no problem. I'm not hurt, I'm not offended, nothing. And I saw this also with my teacher. It was just love, and this moment, maybe first ego is offended and hurt uh, what he said, what he did, but then after, like some time passes, and it was actually such activation and really smashing of that illusion took out. So, you should not be never sorry for nothing. You see, I am Gemini, I'm very multidimensional. I speak this topic and then other side. We should never be sorry. I now explained to you why. Maybe ascended beings sometimes act heavy. And we should never be sorry. Because every moment we are at our best. Even that moment when we get chastised. We are on our best that we can be that moment. But it's just a push, so we are better. So we should not be sorry. Never be sorry. Never be sorry. Just be better. You are best that moment. No problem. You can only... You have free will to be whatever you want. God never wants you to be sorry. It's just experience and choices. 
and experience according to choice. Beings of light inspire you to higher choice and higher experiences. That's why sometimes, but don't be sorry never. You are always dead the best what you can provide to the experience to the source. And it's just like that. And you can only choose to be better. That's why I also, that one teacher, if I, I was then not sorry anymore when I first time saw he's pissed when I'm sorry. Well, I can only be try to be better, no problem. Because sorry, guilt. I did something wrong. Let me just finish that. Uh, there's nothing to forgive. Never. Whatever ever happens in the heart of a master, there's nothing to forgive. If somebody says they are ascended and they need your, I'm sorry, they need to forgive you, that everything is okay, that they can love you again, that they feel okay, you have to understand like example of Jesus on the cross, <coughs> you cannot take the truth away. You cannot hurt the truth. Truth does not need others to bow down or to change or to be sorry, to be truth, to be love. Truth is truth always. So, ego and mind, the false self, gets offended. You know, and from ego to mind, the false self, guilt comes, I'm sorry, and offense also. Everything comes from ego mind. So if somebody gets offended and hurt, they can tell you why they don't like it, they can be like this. But if they get offended and hurt, they are not ascended and enlightened. They are in ego mind. Ego mind feeds on what others, and that is what marks the vibration of the ego mind, what others do or not do. So ego mind gets offended. Ego mind gets hurt. Ego mind needs others to bow down and to love them. Need others not go down. You did something wrong to me. You need to Apologize now. You know, everything is okay. This is ego mind. Master, just if it's somebody's, this is just something like too crazy or something like that. Uh, just removes himself from that situation. That person prays for them. Does not need them to be sorry. They will be sorry when they want to be. You have to force nobody to repent for nothing. You only pray for them. If they come after you and crucify you, they also pray for them what you can do. Because enlightened master is saved, finished karma, and God knows this, he knows this, she knows this. And everybody who is confused offending, hurting him, is just a disease on their heart, on their being, and they are actually, they need his prayers only. You know, you seeing them, what they're doing to themselves, you know. If we need to be they would need to be forgiven, if they would need to say, I'm sorry, that everything will be okay, and like this. Then I'm actually also down there with them, where it matters, when we are in ego mind consciousness. And that determines if we love each other or not. Master just removes himself and prays for them with love. They will change when they choose. They are their best now in this moment, even when they are doing complete nonsense. And even when I'm speaking about it, to tell you what they are doing. Still, to love to them also, maybe they hear 
and change, like in past video I speak. Everything is with love. You know, love is also mysterious in so many ways. And if you need others to be sorry, to say, please forgive me. Then, not yet enlightenment. Not yet. Ego mind needs that. You understand now why. Ego mind gets determined, the false self, how I feel, according to what others do, and resentment destroys itself until they are not sorry, gets hurt like anything. You know, we should never be sorry and we should not demand forgiveness. If somebody do something really bad, okay, it's accepted that they are sorry. This means that they have realized. Then I will not give them a lesson. I'll tell you, be blessed as I am. There's nothing to forgive. If somebody... I mean, speaking against me and like this, and when they realized, I did not give them a lesson that they should not be sorry. Because it's the realize what they did, God did not like. And they realized, and then they alone came and said, I was so confused, now I see. It was my own confusion. I just said, there's nothing to forget. Welcome. I love you. You know, and until if I would demand it and need them to be sorry, I, I just blocked that guy then, and when he realized he made another profile and came back. I did not want him to be sorry, I just don't want these things. I prayed for him after. And the prayer worked after four months. You know. It was not hurt and offended. I'm just very sensitive to these energies. I don't like them around me. I like beautiful, so I can share my creation and teachings and love. And if they don't, they cannot be like this. They have right to be there, their past, but I don't want this here. And as he came back, no problem, you know. And if you need others to be sorry, then you are actually feeding from karma of others. Others determine your vibration, you know. And you cannot be free in this way because others will always hurt you, always judge you, sometimes please you, sometimes make you happy, sometimes disappoint you. And you will always be in this and always they will have to be sorry. And then you'll be proud of them and they'll make you happy and then they will have to be sorry again. It's not enlightened behavior. Enlightened conception Consciousness has nothing to forgive. And that's why when somebody is sorry for something, I feel, why are you sorry? I just don't like these things here. That kind of videos or that kind of comment, mental, like this. But you have right to have that. I don't care. I just said what I said because I don't like this here. It does not belong in my gallery. I tell them like this. I tell you what, what I tell them so they start laughing. I tell them guilt is original sin. Guilt is original sin. Kill that demon. Bury him deep under the sun. The sand, you know, sand of time. And just love on and lead nations to the promised land. There's nothing to forgive. 
I'm just crazy, you be crazy. If you don't like something, say it. Like I said it, don't be sorry. You did nothing wrong. Only if you kill somebody, be sorry. But I told you, then what you can do? It's too late. Bury under the sand of time. Serve, love all your life and lead nations to the promised land. Like this. this. Moses would tell you that. I'm sure. He's crazy like me. <laughs> so. And comment it over. Because in that case, I'm just weird and eccentric. I don't like, like Salvador Dali. They did not like this mental thing. An intellectual, this of the mind too much. And that's why, why they are sorry. I just don't like this in my house. You have the right to be that. This is you. I respect. I accept this too. Not. Does not belong to me. Not like this. People are too much in the guilt. Now let us go to the second part. I was too long explaining why Master should not be offended. It does not need others to be sorry, and I spoke many other things, what to do, related. Guilt, the original sin. Guilt, okay, we done something wrong, we realize it, we repent, we move on, we rise, we fly. But guilt is impediment to the soul, the love of God towards you, because you are a child of God. God loves you, like I said before, every moment, for who you are at now, and you are your best you can be now, regardless where you are, who you are, what you are doing. You are learning what you have to learn, and at your best, so God loves you always, the source loves you, as you are always. So when we are guilty, we feel worthless, we feel we done something wrong, we are not good enough. We are actually hating on someone who God loves. And God feels like the sainted master feels, there's nothing to forgive. If everyone is forgiven, just be better if you repent for something. Don't be sorry. Don't feel guilt. Guilt is that when you accuse yourself, God loves you and just, okay, if you realize this is not what you want in your life, what you're doing, then do something better. Change to better. Don't be guilty. Guilt is condemning yourself. Accusing yourself, judging yourself. For just that low, how can you rise out of guilt if you're worthless, if you've done something wrong? No, I was blind, now I see amazing grace. I was learning, it was just maybe one hour before, no problem. I was learning the best I can learn that moment. Now I realized why I was learning and I don't want that and now I learned and now I can do better. No guilt. Gratitude for that darkness that I did. And yes, repentance. Okay, it comes. Why is repentance there? So you can be better. Repentance, difference, and guilt. You know. Repentance is just the realization that what you did, and you want something better. Guilt is condemning yourself, accusing yourself, and God loves you. And guilt is locking yourself to lower vibration. You cannot grow out of this. You are the one who 
charge yourself. You are the one who declared yourself you're guilty. No one else. God just sees your experience and choice. Now you want to change the choice. Don't be guilty. Change the choice. Be better. No problem. And I'll be guilty for nonsense. That's what I tell the people who tell me they're sorry. I delete their comment and they say they're sorry. I guilt, guilt, guilt. I delete their comment because I, it's my house. I don't like every picture somebody bringing in my house. And then I tell them, this, what I told you before, funny story, joke. Because we are guilty when we are ourselves. And this comes, why we expect others will, others have to accept everything we say and do. And if they don't, we have to be sorry. Guilt has to come. Some are sorry, they are humble, and others get offended, and they have to spit on you. But there are rare those, no, I see the many, who can accept that this is your will. What? He's not doing this in my house, he's not viol violating my, my space, so let him do in his house what he wants. I see rare this. We are guilty. If we did something, we did nothing wrong, and others did not like, we feel guilty or we feel offended. And give, take the right from the other away to have their own choices and say no to something. So as long as we do this, we should not be guilty. We should realize that others are not supposed and are not mandatory to like everything, what we say and do, and they have right to say no to our energies that they don't like, and we can keep them somewhere else. And we also have to realize there's nothing wrong if somebody expresses their will to us. We did nothing wrong. Because they don't like that. Okay. So why being offended and why be sorry when you do nothing? Like, I'm very weird. Now you can see the picture. I'm going deep in my weirdness. I will say, I don't like this, da 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 da. But then I will say, never be sorry for doing nothing wrong. Because this we are lacking. This fifth dimensional qualities that create actually peace and unity of our soul and harmony. And I'll tell you why. Nobody feels guilty and nobody wants others to be sorry. Nobody feels guilty for what they are doing and nobody feels that others are obliged to accept and like everything what we are doing. In this way we are free to be ourselves. And even to like each other with what we don't like on each other. And we just don't do that in our presence because we respect our vibrations. And my weirdness just tries to teach that. There's nothing wrong if you say what you don't like to your friend. And they did nothing wrong. And there's nothing wrong if we said or did something what they don't like. If there is nothing that we offended or something, they just don't like. We have to stop being sorry and we have to stop expecting that others must just accept everything what we bring to them. This is karma. And then we are sorry and we are offended. We are guilty or we are on the high ego. You know. Why are they not accepting what I do? Or, oh, I'm so sorry that I did this. No. It's just you be you. We are one, but some things I like, some things I don't, some things you like that I like, some things you don't, and in many things we meet, and there's nothing wrong with other things. We just don't bother each other with these things, and it's right. We should not feel guilty. We're telling to our friends, our close ones, the things we don't like. They will just, if they love us really, truly, they just won't do that in our pre presence and everything will be okay. 
This is fifth dimensional consciousness. That's freedom. No karma. No guilt. No expectation. No offense if somebody don't accept what I do in his presence. So like this. It's nothing. Guilt is original sin. You feel guilty for nothing. And those who are really doing bad things, they don't feel guilty. For they're too guilty. <laughs> you know, to feel guilty. And we are being little, we've been long, long time in sacrifice and victims and all this, this third dimension. And we always were accused that we do something wrong, that we are not good enough. And this is still with, within us. And we feel guilty for nothing many times. And that's why, as a true teacher, I feel I have to teach truth. And truth is, that inspire us to let go of illusions, also of guilt, and fly higher. But as we do, others are sorry because we have to say something to inspire them. Otherwise, they stay in that level. And, and then also we have to say there's nothing to forgive. There's only a teaching, always on fire to boost you up. Shake your mind. Don't be sorry. Another lesson. <laughs> like this. So Master is not hurt or offended. He's just full of lessons. <laughs> With your love. And that's why I know. Enlightenment is lion's power. And it's mistaken for ego many times. Because Master will say what he don't like. If, even if it's a normal thing and everybody, he will say. And then somebody will say, you are an ego. But, true master, also when he does not need forgiveness, when somebody will be sorry and like this and go in lower ego guilt, master will tell him, guilt is original sin. Don't be sorry, be yourself. I'm just being myself. I'm just inspiring you to be yourself and dare to be yourself. And we can be true friends, and in love, even if we say to each other, hey, I don't like this, don't do this here, do it somewhere else. Okay, I respect you, I love you for who you are, so I'll not do this in your presence, but I will not change this quality, I'll still do somebody, but if I want to be with you and dance with you, and that time I'll not do that, because I love you for who you are, just like you love me. And also I will tell you, these things that really disturb me. And that's no karma, no guilt, nothing to forgive. It's be yourself, like this. And in bad situations, like I said, when we really do something that harms others and like this, even in that situation, from the point of source, nothing is wrong. You are at your best, even these dark people. You are learning about love at that level what you have to learn, and God sees, God wants you only to be better. And on, also there, when we really do something wrong, that repentance came, that moment, yes, oh, what I did, oh, that, 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 yes, it's the realization. But then just be better. Be better. Nothing else can be done. There are many ancient stories, like in India, in Mahaprabhu, in golden one time, there were two demons, you know, real demons. And they really did most terrible things. They were killing people and raping and all this black tantra and everything. And Nit Nityananda, brother of Golden One, Czech, Golden Krishna, Nityananda, he was crazy completely. He said, I will uh, turn them to light. They will chant Krishna's name now. I, you, you will see. 
And how did, how did I say you crazy? These are the most insane criminals ever. These people are completely, why do you just go away? And he just stopped them like this. Stop! Stop! Chant, Hare Krishna! Come on! Chant! Let us dance! Come on! And as they heard this, they were completely on fire. What? What? What he want? What? Move away or we kill you! And he did not stop. He just, again, he just started more. He wrote on them. What? Start chanting. <laughs> like this, crazy completely. And then the other, the Madai, he, Jagai and Madai they were. And he, one big pot, he just lifted and he broke on Nityananda's head. <laughs> like this. They were crazy. And then, Lord and Krishna, Chaitanya, he felt this and he immediately lost all his cover. 500 years ago, he came with fire disc on his hand ready to finish them. You know, <laughs> like this, ready to finish them. Just to remove them, what they're doing. And the Nityananda all covered in blood, lying on the ground. And then he just caught him by his, this Indian skirt pants. <laughs> and please kill me, kill me, please forgive them, please forgive them, please forgive them. And then Mahaprabhu stopped his fire. He was all covered in blood and he was on his leg, stop. Don't do this to them, don't do, don't do this to them, you know. And they were immediately, that moment, they both felt on the ground, started crying. All these illusions were dissipated. You see, he was like that. Golden one, he just wanted to do justice. Also out of love for them but more father's love to remove that. What they are doing, they are doing, they cannot do that. He did not defend himself and then goal went for him there. But as Nityananda prayed for them and begged for them, he stopped. And they changed their hearts, they got purified, they got repentance, they start crying. And immediately Golden One blessed them, stand up, just be better now. Just chant this name. Serve people. Do good things. You are now saints, he said. So she wanted to kill them, then just bless them like this. Just waited for that. And Nityananda caused this by praying for them. And he was covered in blood completely. You know. And they are still remembered in India as great saints. In Navadvip. Those two also. Hmm. So like this. All is love. There's nothing to forgive. Just choices. They made a choice. God just wanted to give them the, the result of that choice that they made. By touching Nityananda. And then they made different choice. They immediately re realized what they did and they got highest blessing. And they got freed of karma, they got freed of everything. They ascended like this. It's all choices. He did not want them to be guilty, to do anything, just do better. And they did better and everything was cool. And they are remembered as great men. Most worst criminals that turned in great men, great saints. Like this. There's no guilt. Guilt condemns you. You yourself. You can only be better. This is example. Very extreme example how they got better. And they were actually doing rapes killing people, and even children, sacrifices, and like this. They were terrible people. 
It's described there in the Chaitanya Bhagavata. Oof. But as they came to light, there was no more problem. But that moment when they touched that moment, they made choice and gorgeous wanted to remove them from this plane. Well, they made a different choice and they got higher reality. And they lived spiritually in love ever after, inspiring other people. Not anymore killing them and nothing. So this is really an example of most dark, terrible beings turning to light. So there's nothing to be guilty whatever you do. You realize what you're doing, okay? Now I can only be better. I can repent from the heart and stop being sorry. Be better. Like this. Also, if some dark creature, there's no dark creatures, they're only covering. If somebody listening and you touched by this video, there's no problem. Whatever you are part in, if you realize and just be better, just go to the light, serve light, love people, spread love and light, forgive yourself, there's nothing to forgive, guilt is original sin, our own choice, and when we realize we have been in darkness, we come to light, and we are love, and we forgive and forget that reality out of our consciousness, and we are in our true self, doing true service to everyone with love. Guilt is over. Everyone been in darkness. You don't know your past life. You don't know your experiences is good. Some you know, some you don't. Some know more, some know less. But I can tell you something. It's good you don't remember. Some would feel too much guilty because we have to experience everything what this matrix offers to understand it and decode it in the end and master it. There's nothing to be guilty. We have done everything wrong and right in this world and we have chosen to be better and better and we can only choose to be better. And that's why stop being, if you feel you've done nothing wrong, don't be guilty. When you feel you do something wrong, then we repent and we can be better. But never be guilty for what others like or don't like on you. I've given on the beginning my extreme example. I am myself. I don't like things I don't like, but I don't need no one to be sorry for being themselves. And I want everyone to be able to say what they don't like and like. And others, if they truly love you, they don't want you to be guilty and they get offended. They accept and they love you as you are. Guilt is original sin. It takes the soul down. You are condemning and accusing yourself and judging yourself and putting yourself in prison in lower vibration. Yes, that's it. That's why I'll end Moses. Kill that demon. Bury it deep under the sand of time. Now serve love at the end of your days. And let us lead nations to the promised land on heaven and earth where no one is guilty, no one is offended, and everybody is the true self. And everyone is just okay with it. There's no guilt. There's nothing to forgive. Everything is forgiven. Everyone was forgiven. All was just choices. There was nothing to forgive. Never just choices and experiences from the source point of view it's neutral truth. We're just experiencing our choices and we can always be only better, never guilty, never sorry, always better. So it is. Don't be guilty. Be better. Be blessed as I am always. May all guilt be 
hurt child of you, don't be sorry. Be yourself. Never be sorry for being yourself. And if in your heart you know this is who you are. And those who need you to be sorry when you do nothing, remove yourself from them, pray for them. I love you. They are sorry <laughs> in reality. When we accept each other and we are not sorry for being ourselves, and we let others be themselves, there's nothing to forgive. We are free and we understand that everyone is just diseased maybe on their level and that darkness is taking over. There's nothing to forgive. Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. Love them, but love yourself also. Remove yourself from that. You don't like that. You don't want that. But you love them in your prayer. Your sincere love, not your hate and revenge and resentfulness, but your prayer, your sincere love from far, as you also love yourself and remove yourself, will inspire them and empowerment to eventually get better. Like this. There's no guilt. There's nothing to forgive. Amen. Blessings. You are at your best now, this moment, wherever you are, and trust me. Everyone else also. Namaste. Namaste. Blessing.